Hello, hello. I believe I am online. Um, is this a black screen? Hang on a second. This is not supposed to be a black screen. Bear with me. Aha, that's why. That's what you're supposed to be looking at. So yesterday we are playing Astroneer. Um, yes, also, again, please do let me know audio levels because I've had to switch to a different streaming software for this one uh, because the Streamlabs OBS, apparently, on my computer at least, hates Unreal, um, hates the Unreal Engine, uh, which this game is run on. So, yeah, let me know what the sound is like because uh, I had to do all my settings and copy everything across. But I think I'm okay. Just, just let me know. Um, also, I'm getting no audio from the game. Can you hear the game music as well? 
let's have a look at that. Okay, now you should be able to hear music from the game. I think. If you couldn't before, you should be able to now. Uh, hello, Sherlock. Hello, Cubix. I'm going to call that Cubix. Sound is good. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, I've, I've not actually played Astroneer before. Uh, I've been meaning to for a little while, but just didn't get round to it. Um, so far, all I've done with the game is play the tutorial. Um, and I've played the tutorial several times just to make sure this is going to work. So we should be all right. So let's just um, hop into a new adventure game. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, from here onwards, I haven't seen this bit. Because the tutorial just takes you straight in. Um, okay, so we've got different suits. Uh, so the exosuit, bubble suit, flight suit, bio suit, and some stuff which is locked by achievements. Ooh. The Wanderer's Way achievement. Given the fact that that's all question marks, I'm going to assume that that's an achievement you get for finishing the game. Um, ooh. How many heads have you got? Um, which one should we go for? I'm thinking the bio suit. That looks best to me. And um, we've got different color palettes as well. Is there a blue and orange one? There's blue and yellow, which is the standard. I don't suppose, I, yeah, I don't think I can change that. Um, that one's interesting. Ooh, gold. Oh, but they're all locked anyway. And then more down the bottom. Okay, so yeah, let's just go for the, the standard one. It's the closest to my color scheme. Um, oh, we can change the, the visor color as well. That's pretty cool. I'm going to stick with the gold one. And yeah, we don't have any hats or masks unlocked. Emotes. Hey. Okay, can we check? Oh, yes, we can change them. Um, we'll probably come back to check it that, but... And then redeem code. Let's um, not worry too much about that. So, yeah, let's just jump in. Uh, confirm these settings, start your adventure. Yes! Sherlock, teal is it's a very nice sounding colour, regardless of what it looks like. The name is nice. Okay, and here we are. Oh. Well, that was eventful. So... Yeah, in terms of what I know about this game, I know vaguely what the story is. Um, I have seen some Let's Plays. Uh, the Let's Plays I've seen were mostly older versions of the game. Uh, like I haven't seen anything Astroneer related in a couple of months. I haven't actually seen the beginning of the game, so I am i don't really know how to start. I know there's some resources to go and get. Um, so, yeah, my, my thinking is that this can become a sort of more long-term thing I can do streams on. Um, right, so... Right, what is that? That is a landing pad. Initialize cargo drop. Well, let's see what that does. Oh, okay. So we've got a starting medium printer, an oxygen generator, and... A platform. Alright, well let's spread these out. Bonk. And a printer. Let's just pop that over there. Boom. And an oxygenator. Okay. 
Boom. And I believe these all want to be plugged into each other. So does this have a, a plug in or does it need to be put on something? I don't see a plug in on this one. Is there something underneath? Maybe that does have to be put on the platform. Oh yeah, it's it's still tutorializing me. Okay, so we'll put that over there. And bring this a little bit closer to the base. I did see a plug somewhere, yeah. Um, can we, like, can, is there a way of rotating that? Okay, not those buttons. All right, let's just plug that in. And does this plug in somewhere? Uh, well, I can examine it again. Reinitialize cargo drop. Reso okay, so that puts everything back in the boxes. Let's let's not do that again. Um, yes, yeah. So I, I I do know the basic controls, Sherlock. Um, so W A S D space to jump, clicking and gathering resources and stuff. Like I said, I've done the tutorial, uh, but that's about as far as I've got. That's the printer. Which one is the base? Yeah. How how do I re rotate this? I am doing well, Cubics. How are you doing? Uh, speaking of oxygen, have you seen oxygen not included? It's on my radar. I don't really know what it is, though. Um, yeah, I tried scrolling. Scrolling is zoom in and zoom out. Um, there's got to be a way to rotate it. So if I, if I pick it up... Uh, Q to open that. I guess we just keep moving it around until we <laughs> get a rotation we like. Let's see if there's something in um, options. I saw somewhere there was a list of tutorials. Base building? C and V, there we go. C and V. Excellent. Okay, so we'll pop that down there. We'll unpack it. Boom. And we'll plug it in. And that's that's our oxygenator. Yep. So we'll pump that down on there and unpack it. Boom. It's a really good sound. I like that. And what was this one over here? That's our printer. Uh, let's... Which way around does that go? I can't. I can't tell. Um, is that a, no? Which which one of these is? Does this not plug into something, or does it have to be on? Maybe that has to be on a base as well. Okay, packaged item. Something required there. Oh well, let's let's go and get some stuff. There's some resin over here. We'll need that sooner or later. So, E to equip, and scoop. Yes, so, terrain deformation. Okay, that, that's some. Uh, oh, yes, there's a run button as well. I forgot about that. Um, and it's, what's this called? Com it used to be called compound in older versions. Yes, it is still called compound. Casually mine out a hole in the ground. What is that? That is. I don't know what that is. Oh, O2. Uh, is it you or is the audio sync out? Um, excellent question. Um, three, two, one, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Three, two, one, jump. You tell me, is the audio sync out? Um, imagine Rimworld and don't stop having a baby. That is oxygen not included. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that That's research, is it? I'll get the hang of the buttons eventually. I keep pressing the wrong ones. Um, Alright, so what can the printer do? Uh, okay, the printer needs to be put on the 
on the thing. There we go. Okay, examine. Alright, so we can make another... We can make a large printer. Okay. Well, first up... Buttons, buttons, buttons. Put that away. Pick that up. Put it round the other way. Okay. No. What? There we go. Okay, now it's actually printing on the right side. Okay, so we've got... Um, large printer, research chamber. Well, if you said that was research, let's get one of them. That sounds useful. What are the things? Good. I can plug in the O2 generator in the side of the shelter. Okay. Is that what that hole was for? Right there. Ah, excellent. Was it uh, was it not already producing oxygen there, at the base? I'm a little bit confused at that. Provides oxygen flow to tethers and power cables. Oh, so if I made a tether without putting that in there, then the oxygen wouldn't flow. That, I guess that makes sense. Uh, stream delay. Yeah, I think that's... Just... It, it might be a setting somewhere in OBS. Um... I'll, I'll have a quick look. I don't think um, stream output. I haven't actually used this version of OP OBS before, so I don't see anything that mentions a stream delay. According to YouTube, there's no added delay, but I guess YouTube isn't necessarily the best place to stream. How's this going? Still working. Okay. What can I make? Uh, tether bundle. Well, we will need at least one tether bundle. So let's make that now. What else? Uh, oxygen filters. What I would. Lo uh, small canister. I want that for my gun. Um. Generator. I think this thing comes with solar panels. We'll need more eventually. Beacons I don't need yet. Work light. Did that finish? Yes, it did finish. Okay. Uh, right, so let's unpack that. No, not pick it up. Unpack it. Boom. Okay, and does that have a plug or do I need to... That needs to go on a base, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, okay. So what do we need to make a platform of some kind? Large platform A. That'll do. Two resin, I've got that. Why do I stream on YouTube? Because this is where my viewership base is. I could stream on Twitch, and I probably will go there eventually, but this is like the second stream I've probably done, so I have the subscribers here. Uh, YouTube's backend system's a lot better than Twitch's bandwidth to push. Yeah, I mean, I I don't work for Google or YouTube, so I don't know, but... Okay, this takes a while. Maybe we do need a bit more power. Um, no, that's not the button I want. Um, there was a generator in here somewhere. Small generator. What do I need for that? Compound. I'm out of compound. Okay, let's go get some more. Um, wait, is there a... Just going to have a quick look through options. Um, if I can find any options. Options. Um... I am after hold to sprint. Wait, was that was already off? So, not pressing shift, pressing shift. Okay, well let's just toggle that. I feel as though that label is the wrong way round. Uh, where did it go? Hold to sprint. Not pressing shift, pressing shift, not pressing shift. That did nothing. Okay, whatever. I guess I just have to press shift to 
for some hold shift to run. Did that finish? Okay, oh, that finished. Um, right, so where should we put that? Let's put it there. Unpack. Boom. And we'll plug it in there. Put that on there. Exa uh, we need to find that research. Where was it? There it is. Can I... Oh no, these are the little ones. I can just scan them. I thought it was one of the big ones. Okay. I don't know what that bit is then. Um, I changed the controller settings, not the keyboard and mouse. You're not wrong. Hold to sprint. Off. <laughs> That's better. Okay. I mean, who would walk anywhere when you can sprint, right? Let's go get some air. Uh, right. Let's see what else we can print. Platform, a large printer. Well, we'll want one of them. That needs another three compound. Research, that's what we just did. For request platform. Okay. Um, what can we do over here? Because this, uh, so this is like my tech tree, I think. Um, I believe, so this tab here, this is what I can craft just in my backpack. This is what I can do with the medium printer, large printer, and the sh oh, the shelter itself can do stuff, apparently. I didn't know that. Yeah, in the tutorial, only the first two tabs were unlocked. Um, am I consuming more oxygen while sprinting? Let's have a look. That blue bar across the top of my backpack is air. Okay, so that goes down slower. Maybe? I don't think it's a huge difference though. There's probably an Astronia wiki somewhere. Um, I already looked at that, didn't I? Yeah. Um, ah, yes, research. I was looking at anything else I can make. Uh, the oxygenator. Shredder. Oh no, that's the thing. Okay. Uh, packager. Uh, tethers. I'm slightly confused as to how the system is moving. Okay. Right, so tethers, oxygen, oxygen filters, oxygen tank, and I need glass for that. How the hell do I make glass? Um, did I... I did make the canister, didn't I? Yeah. I should put that on there. Because I feel as though that belongs on the gun. Let's go get some more stuff. for days. Just keep going. Alright, I, I'm, my backpack's nearly entirely full of compound now, uh, this way. Yes, yes, I know, oxygen. Um... Okay, um, I've already looked at that. Well, we'll probably need another platform. Oh, I need more resin for that. Um, okay, I see resin over that way. Let's put down some tethers as we go. Glass is material required to make the thing to unlock. I need bites. 
So is, is glass just a material I find somewhere and can pick up, or do I have to craft glass? It sounds like a craftable item to me. Okay, I think I am completely full now. Dynamite, just a trumpet horn. Yeah, none of these look like where I can unlock materials. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes, making another platform. Okay, um. So can I print stuff with the base then? Okay. I thought I could do something with the shelter. I think this is just how I save the game by getting in there. Yep. Should we just pick a direction and go, maybe? There's a thing floating over there. Is that actually floating, do we think, or is it pretending to float? Ah, uh, something popped in. Okay, well, I'm even more curious as to what it is now, so let's go find out. Whoops, a bit too far. There we go. This looks like a vehicle. Right. Tethers are a little bit tricky to put down at the right distance. Uh, debris, salvage. Power extenders. Can I do anything with this? Do I have to... Yeah, I just have to dig it up a bit. Okay. Will you snap to one of them? No, you just live in the world. Well, if I put that on there, in fact, I sh shouldn't have taken them off, probably. Oh, um, <laughs> facing the wrong way. That was lucky. Do I just have to take these both back separately? And I believe at some point during the game there was a shredder I can unlock, which will allow me to turn these into actually useful stuff. Oops. Oops. Ah, we finished our platform. Excellent. Uh, well, let's put him on this side. It's not the flattest of ground there. Let's see if we can build that up a bit. That's much harder to level than I was expecting. He just lives there. Plug you in and I'm just going to put some of my stuff on here I think. Uh, is that two resin or one resin I've got? One, apparently. Now, this is a proper game where you can take over an entire planet. Well, yes and no, because you actually take over an entire solar system in this game. I don't actually need more compound. Resin is what I'm after. Resin was in this direction, I think. Um, yeah, there are, there are several planets we can visit in this game. Ooh, that is a res big research item, I believe. Can I pick it up? No. Now can I pick it up? Yes. Okay, so I can stick that in my research, research in my bob. Get a bit more. Let's see why I'm 
here. That should do us for now. Let's take this home, see what we can do with it. Oh, and I think, yeah, these are more of the little research items over here. Down them. Zoom out a bit. And that goes there. Um, press button to start research. Cool. That looks as though it's not powered enough, though. Just dig a hole for it. We need resources. Well, I am sure we will be doing something quite similar to that. Um, now, is this... Somewhere... I am fairly sure there is a way of getting like a leveling tool. What does the inhibitor mod do? Doesn't. Does there a description button anywhere? Alignment mod, that sounds useful. That needs a zinc. Alright, well. In the interests of exploration. Let's go down here. Oh, camera, please. Oh, and we found a cave. I cannot see a goddamn thing. Uh, yeah, all right, halfway down on O2. Come on, up you go. Okay. Is there a way I can craft a smelter? That's got to be, right? I'm getting up everything except what I need. This one. Okay, medium printer, oxygenator, shredder, field shelter. Arm, resource canister, soil canister, power sensor, storage sensor, battery sensor, button repeater, extenders, splitters, generators, so that's all power stuff in this one I'm guessing, yep. Uh, oh, more platform types. Storage things, seats, vehicles. Drill stuff. Thruster stuff. Okay, what about from the large printer? Smelting furnace. Okay, so I need a large printer. And I believe that is one of the things that the medium printer can print. Yes, and I've even got the stuff for it. Excellent. Wait. There we go. Okay, so I will let that do its thing. Uh, make O2 filters with resin, gives you more air without tethers until you get O2 tanks. Um, yeah, I could. I mean, I've got plenty of compound around. I'm not averse to making more tethers. What's this? Is this a scanny thing? Yes, it is. Ding. Here's a pre-made hole. Here's one I made earlier. I'm taking tethers with me. <laughs> yes, not making that mistake again. This way. I'm actually out of tethers. Okay, let's make some more. Uh, beacon, work light, small printer, tethers. Okay. 
ったら、uh, the hole? It's, it's a hole. Oh, don't slide. Can I make a light? I saw a light in here. What does that need? Copper. Never mind then. It flashed up with something. Oh, it keeps flashing up with something. Right like in front of me. Doesn't it? Or is it just... Oh, it's flashing up with my name. Let's... I feel like I shouldn't be down here yet. <laughs> What's down here? I don't know, but it's a long way down. I can't reach down there yet. Let me see, but don't fall in the hole. I don't want it so steep I can't get back up. Can I build that up? Now I can build that up. In theory, this is really difficult to control. Mostly around. There's some. Ooh, there's a flashing thing over there. That's probably important. I can probably make my way back up there. Uh, wait, where's my most recent tether? Oh dear. There was a gap in that bridge. I would very much like to go up here. I would very, very much like to go up there. And just, there we go, up, up please. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's put a tether there. That sounded as though I broke something. Such an underrated channel. Well, at least it's being rated, right? That's... Interesting. Okay, so there's more debris there. Debris from what? No one knows, but debris nonetheless. Oh! That made me jump. I'm guessing I don't want to stand too close to those things when that happens. <laughs> I'm normally a fairly chill kind of person. I don't... wait, can I not scan that? There we go. Yeah, it's, I very rarely actually jump. Um... I feel like I don't want to plant that. Uh, what is that? That is more debris. Was there another research sample down there? No. Okay, more resin. Am I out of tethers again? I can press control with the drill to build smooth surface or ramps. Well, the missed that bit in the tutorial. There we go. I knew there was a way of doing it, I just didn't know what the way was. I thought it was an unlock thing. That's much easier. Thank you, Virus7021. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, let's go get the flashy thing. Ooh. We'll come back to that. Take care of the exploding plants first. Any more of them? I think it was just the two. Okay. Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Alright, hang on. Um, right. So what is that resource? Now, if I remember correctly, somewhere in here... Okay, resources... So that looks like laterite. That symbol is laterite. I don't suppose that's laterite down there, is it? You gonna tell me what you are before I fall down the hole? No, because that's quartz. Quartz can make glass. At least it sounds like it should be able to make glass. Uh, let's not be an idiot about this. I was an idiot about it. Okay, right. Um, problems. Okay, well, I've got some quartz now. How the hell do I get back up there? I wonder right, if I just... That's the wrong button. I think I'm going up. There we go. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> yeah, let's not go down there again. Okay, so he wants laterite to open. Um, what do we have in this direction? Pursuit of knowledge. Okay, that is... Are you going to tell me what you are, please? It's not laterite, the symbol's wrong. Sphalerite. Okay, uh, that looks like a different thing. It's not a different thing. Okay, it's just all one big fellow I deposit down there then. That's more quartz. Okay. Okay, let's let's try going in the other direction. That's more sphalerite. Oh, because it's the spherical crystal, which I don't think can exist in nature, but cool. Oh more explodey plants, okay. Don't go too close. And gives us more things to scan. A bit more explodey plants over there. Are you anything interesting? I think. Ah! Things to scan. And organics over there. Explodey plants. Oh, more explodey plants. And more research samples. I'm getting all of the research samples down here. I like this. Not massive ones, only bits and bobs here and there. Another seed.
wondering what the reason for like planting the seeds is. Like, they is it a way you can farm resources? Those, those ones had a bit more on them. Oh, and I am out of tethers again. All right, well let's let's head back up. We'll see if we can find a different hole to go down. Discs stacked on top of each other. Okay. Um, I don't remember this being that steep when I came down. All right, I, I can go up. That's that's what matters, I guess. Uh, all right. Yeah, I I'm not quite sure where I knew this from, but I, I was aware laterite turns into aluminium. Of aluminum, I guess, because like 50% of my viewers are American. And uh, the base was over here. Okay, so... Oh, what was, what was this? Large printer! Yes, I knew we were doing something. Okay, um, you go there. You come off there. And which way round are you going to print? Um, there. Go that way, please. Okay, what can you make? Shelter? Oh, no, well, I was after a specific thing, wasn't I? Which sounds like something I need to unlock because nothing's working. Smelting furnace costs 250 bytes. Unlocked. So I need to exit it and come back. It says it's unlocked. Have I missed something? Wait. Figured it out. So, um, what was happening there is this one. I assumed that this was the tab for the large printer. But no, this is where you make the large printer. So this is actually the tab for the medium printer. That's the tab for the small printer. If there is one. Uh, this is my personal tab. And then that's the tab for the large printer. So yes, you don't print stuff at the shelter, you print shelters at the large thing. Gotcha, and yeah, I think the shelter's all you can make at the moment. Alright, um, oh, this is done. Yeah, nothing else to do there. Um, okay, what else do we want? We've got 1230 bytes. Um oh button. Let's see what can we unlock? We need two thousand bytes to unlock the small oxygen tank. Alright, let's let's go see if we can find some bytes. Actually, um I need more tethers. And you know what? I'll make more tethers. I feel like I might be running out of power. Because that was red for a second. Um, let's go. This way. Oh. Are you anything fun? Organic.
Factorio has conditioned me to pressing Q to get rid of stuff. So every time I've got my gun out and I press Q, it doesn't drop it, it just opens the backpack. Another hole, nothing in that one. Uh, some resin over here, and a little bit of compound by the looks of it. And I'm out of tethers again. Well, we just walked past some compound, didn't we? Let's go and pick that up. Uh, where was it? I swear I saw it. Ah, over there. Was that it? Timber. Okay, there is that compound. Yes. Oxygen, okay. Uh, next step should be... I'm not sure what that word is supposed to be, virus. Should be something, the second cave. Just go deeper in the cave. Okay, um, and Sherlock has guests, yes. Um, Alright, so... I, I, I would still like to get... Well, to at least unlock... Um, the, ooh, there's a big bit of wreckage over there. I would still like to at least unlock the small oxygen tank. Because that way, as soon as I obtain glass by one method or another, then I can do something with it. Oh, and there's a thing here. Or maybe we'll just get this and bring it home. What have we got? Uh, debris, 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 debris. Debris. And extenders. I'll take them. I don't think anything else there is functional. Are you a fancy rock or a research item? Okay, we'll take that home with us. That's a nice looking hole. We'll remember about that. Okay, uh, where did my tethers go? Over here. Extended family, live with your parents. Yeah, I've lived with family for a long time. I don't at the moment. Uh, I've lived with housemates who are currently asleep, so no Jack Septicai style yelling from me. <laughs> um, well, don't go down the hole. <laughs> so, fun little story. Uh, yesterday. I was playing D&D, &D, um, just a one-shot that my housemate had cooked up, and we ended up going into a cathedral um, and sort of punched through the floor and several layers below was a hole, and we just kept referencing like the hole and throwing things down the hole. Like, for some reason this you know this consecrated um, cathedral was full of zombies um, oddly enough they weren't they, like they couldn't do anything on the first floor because the first floor had some spell or something surrounding it um, but they could do stuff in like underground on the basements so I'm not entirely sure how they got there 
Maybe they were maybe they were alive when they went down there. I don't know. Um, but yes, I could not stop laughing because I had quite recently watched um, Tom Scar's sketch called The Hole, which is hilarious, and I recommend you watch it. Um, so yeah, now we've got a hole here. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Oh, we've got our smelting thing. Let's make another platform with the right button. And I'm going to make another... God damn it, just click to get rid of that one. I'm going to make another other platform using some of this resin over here. I guess we just carry this one. So we're going to have two platforms. One is going to be for the uh, smelting furnace. And the other is just going to be for me to put some stuff on. Uh, Tom... Yeah, like that. Um... He is the creator of the ASDF movies, which I believe is his most popular thing. But he has a bunch of live action sketches as well. And yes, he is British, I think. Fairly certain, anyway. Uh, yes, it is a YouTuber. Oh, he is a YouTuber. Um small generator. Let's see if we can use some of this organics to help out with the power situation. Maybe it will go faster. Uh, you just stick on there. Does that, does that go faster? Yes, it does. Uh, look at the printer on the right there. That's going pretty slowly. If I put that on, it goes much faster. Um, Alright. With you, I'm going to make some... So let's make another generator. Uh, now, do I have somewhere to plug this in? Yeah, so that's going even faster now. Excellent. Okay, so... Oh, and then that one goes even faster still. So, what's the... I'm not quite sure like how you can tell how much power stuff actually needs. Alright, but we'll plug that in. Boom. And we'll put um, the smelter on there. Um, now do I have anything that can be like does quartz smelt? Says it's a glass material. Presumably, it's different to actually glass there. Okay. Um, some seeds. Sphalerite. The sphalerite. It says it's a zinc material, but not zinc. Okay. I'm not entirely certain. You may or may not have just heard my roommate, uh, my, my housemate sneeze. Sounded like I heard a sneeze, but these earphones are quite good at um, noise cancelling. Left and right of the power connectors on the platforms, you can see the power level. Ah, yes. Well, well, either well spotted or well known. Ah, oh, yes. Turn on. That will help. Okay. So, ah, uh, yeah. Power is not very good. Um, also, I've just burned through all of the organics, so that won't help. But we're getting some zinc. Now, what was it I needed zinc for? Ooh, that can make a beacon. Okay. Um, I don't actually remember what I need. Oh. I saw that something wanted zinc. I don't remember what it was. 
Okay, now will this smelt quartz into glass once this is done? Looks like it! Right. So, we'll pop that guy on there as well. It would be nice if that sort of just popped off somewhere on its own. Uh, time to mine the entire planet for organic matter. Yeah. Let's go and mow the lawn a bit. Whoops, that tether's broken now. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. It only shows it snapping to one of them, but... So it snaps to one, but it does actually connect to both the tethers. Uh, okay, so I've got a bit more organics there. That should help out with that and that. Yeah, the glass just stays there. It doesn't go anywhere. I know there's a way of doing what well, there's with the automation update there's an arm I can use to just take it off but I thought it would at least just pop to a spare hole on the same thing that's taken forever how long does that take another three minutes okay and do I have I don't yet have enough bites to Say how many bytes that will give me. 211 bytes from that. Okay, and I wanted 2,000 for the small oxygen tank. Alright, so we need to do a little bit more sciencing. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in this direction. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Let's go exploring. Alright, what have we got? That is debris, that is debris, that is power cells. That sounds useful. Um, that is debris, 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 and debris. And I see sciencey things over here. So we will scan that, scan that, take this back with us. we even made it home in time. Um, the finished resources go to the empty slots. I've, but they didn't. They, it, it stayed up there. It didn't go anywhere. Uh, I would have thought it went to one of these four empty slots at the bottom. Uh, medium printing can research platform B. I know there are other platforms I can make. Better platforms. Uh, I should probably... Yeah, so there's some... Um, yes, yeah, so there's storage down there, needs more bytes though. Large platform A. Platform B uses up 500 of my precious bytes though. So I'll get it. And what do I need to make it? Three resin, alright. Just to keep the bandits happy. And. Oh, that's, that's still going. Got long left? Another minute. Uh, I've forgotten what this guy is. He's a large printer. I don't actually need him, so I'll, I'll leave him there. Um, let's get some more compound. So my plan is that nice looking hole we saw a little while ago. I'm going to do some exploring in that. So I need compounds for tethers. Oh, I'm full. 
but yes, I, I, I want a storage thing. Uh, that button. So I can put some stuff down. And I can't just leave it on the ground, I guess. House storage item. Like, so is that storing extra power for me? Or... I don't understand exactly how this works. If I put that there... I said it was using power, I think. Yeah, little lightning with the minus sign. Is anything filling up? No, it's getting used up. Oh, it's yeah, God, it's powering that, isn't it? Yeah, look how much faster that was going. All right, but does that not work for me? Like, if I put that in my backpack, does that not give me extra power? Okay, are you gonna fill up now, or are you? Done is that was like a one time thing. Oops. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is that dead now? It looks like it's filling up or moving or doing something. Is there a like a, a log entry on it? Um, oh yeah, there's the thing that tells us about how much power. Um, okay, that's not power storage though. I don't know. It will refill my battery in my pack if I equip it. So that's, that's what I would have thought, but there was like little batteries plugged into it that got used up by the... that got used up by the, um, the printer. Right, if I start using power, that doesn't use power, that's just collecting stuff. What can I make? Um, okay, so if I make some tethers... I'm using power, and I'm not connected to my base. Okay, so it got used up. Yeah, it was just a one-time use thing. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, and storage. So it's not very efficient storage at the moment, but I can put some stuff. Uh, I'll put that on me, actually. Tethers, zinc I don't need on me, these seeds I don't need. Um, oh wait, was zinc what I needed to make a light? No, that's copper. Okay, never mind. Um, anything else? I'll put an organic on there just to help out. Okay, and I'll make some more tethers. Power cells do not refill, only batteries do. Okay, batteries are different to power cells. Thank you, Neon Blowfish. Well, I guess we learned something. Um, right, so I've got three full tether bundles and a less than full tether bundle. Um, Alright, now which direction was the nice hole? I think, was that the one in this direction? No, because that stops immediately. Was it the one in this direction? I think it was. Let's go see what's over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go down into that hole, do some exploring. Got plenty of tethers to take with us. And we'll see if we can find some laterite to open that other thing. 
all more research items. Uh, that research item is finished and I forgot to put it in. Quick. All right, we'll, we'll go put the research item in the um, research item researching machine. How many? Yeah, 1,200. So we need another 800. Then we can get... What was it we wanted to get? The oxygen canisters, that's it. Create the small printer from my backpack. Small printer can print storage modules. Okay. What does a small printer need? I had a spare compound on me anyway. Um, and where's research? That's over here. So you go in there, please. Cool. I don't suppose I can put these in there. No, it won't let me set fire to the seeds. Fine. I'm going to try and keep as little off the floor as possible because I remember in like the Let's Plays that I was watching, uh, especially when they got to the later end of the game. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, when they got to the later end of the game, there was lag issues. Um, storage needs two resin. Okay. No, no, that button. Pick it up. So I need two more resin. Okay. We'll do the storage. And is that another? That's another research item. Excellent. Two more resin. And then we will go exploring in the hole. One. Two. And... Oh, it's on me, isn't it? A uh, small printer. Let's put you next to your big brother, the big printer. Wait. No, I had it right the first time. Pick that up. Face it that way. Pop it down, plug it in, and you need two resin to make a medium storage. Okay. All of the buttons. So, I'll just put that there. I don't know if the medium storage can go on the side bits, but I think they can go in the middle. That's nice. Ah, here's the medium storage. So, if I just unpack you, no. Oh, you might fit on the edge. Yes, you do. Excellent. All right, so you. And, whoop, no, you put the seeds on there as well. Yeah, that's much more efficient storage. Okay, how much research are you going to give me? Another 409. Still not quite enough. We'll see if we can find some small science while we're out. In which case, I'm going to set the glass with me, actually. And was it that way? Ooh. 
Which way was it? I think it was this way. I guess we'll find out. I know we go over a mountain at some point. Or a glorified hill, I guess. Yeah, this looks right. Keep an eye out for sciencey looking things. What does a sciencey looking thing look like? I have no idea, but I'm sure we'll know when we see it. Now, I think, was this the nice hole? It doesn't look quite as nice anymore. I think it was that hole though. Just have a quick scout around for anything on the surface. Well, another one of them. I'll just put. I'll, I'll leave that near the tethers so we can. We'll find it on the way back. That should fill up on O2. There we go. Anything else around before we go down the hole? Ooh! Hello! So, some debris, some more debris, debris, small wind turbine. Now, I think... Does that give me power if there's wind? I think that's what the small one does. Uh, mm. The medium one goes back at the base. Yeah, that small turbine is slowly turning. Where's my tethers? Over there. Yes, yes, I know. I'm on my way. Okay, so we've got that to take back as well. Alright, let's go down the hole. Slow down. The music's getting quiet. Okay, the music down here is considerably less friendly. Okay, so virus the um, the furnace then does that only place finished resources on like spare slots I guess which are on the same platform not the th four things along the front is is that how that works if that is how it works I'm I'm not entirely happy about it but it I, it makes enough sense. I haven't made this one too steep this time. At least I don't think I have. Alright, before we go too far, let's take care of exploding plants. Do they give me any science? I've got a couple of science over there. Find the pixel. There it is. Okay. Uh, loads of phalerite, I think that was called. That's new. Oh, tether. I'm glad it does that. I'm really uh, words. I'm glad it does that little donk just to remind you that you know, breathing is useful. So what are you? Oh, don't fall off. Oh, that's phalerite as well. That's just what the underneath of phalerite looks like, maybe. Um, oh, a research item. OK, 
Okay, let's have a bit of a scout round, see if there's anything fun down here. Oh, more science. Yeah, somewhat as expected, the ones underground are worth a bit more. Exploding plants. Which give us more science. Every level helps. Um, okay. Oh, no, apparently I'm not in tether range. No, that button, then that button, no. God damn it. Move the tether. I think that's laterite. Yay! Explode some plants to celebrate. Oh, that was a big one. Okay, so laterite gives us... wait, I'm just dropping that on the floor, damn it. Um, right, so the laterite gives us aluminium. The sphalerite gave us zinc, was it? Yeah. Quartz gives us glass. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the mineral for copper is, but I know I will recognise it when we come to it. Um, Alright, what have I actually got in here? We've got our 2,000 bytes. Okay, so we'll come to here, we'll find the oxygen tank, we'll do that, and then we should be able to craft two small oxygen tanks. One. See, and they fill up, and this gives us more oxygen. I think I brought too many tethers with me. Alright, let's just throw you some of this back, I guess. Luckily, the tethers show us the way home. Let's see what's chat doing. Um, nothing, okay. Wait, did I see science over here? Yes, I did. <sighs> okay. It's not the least chill of all games, but I'm I'm enjoying it. No, okay. I would really like it if you could move a bit faster while carrying something. And we're out of the hole. So, we've got two research items. A wind power generator. And the next little bit of laterite to carry back. Oops. Ah, wrong buttons. I'll get there eventually, I swear. Wrong buttons. <laughs> you 
Are you just going to roll down the hill? No, you get up there. You're going to roll down the hill there. There's another big hole that I don't want to drop my stuff down. Next step, tractor. Uh, that might not be such a bad idea, actually. No, don't fall down the hole. Yeah, I might, I'll have to widen the path down that hole a little bit. But... Yeah, if I can get a tractor down there, then, well, firstly, I have to worry less about tethers. And I'll have more space for storing stuff. Now, now that Astroneer has an automation update, I wonder if anyone at... The developer studio. I was trying to remember who. I, I can't actually remember who developed this game. There's probably an about or credit somewhere. Um, maybe we'll look at them later. Um, yeah, I wonder if anyone at the studio has mentioned the word train yet. Because if you're automating the mining of materials and the production of smelted stuff and things and whatnot, it'd be nice to have... Oh, oh no, that's only a small hole. That's all right. Yeah, it'd be nice to have trains to ferry things back and forward. Is that... Must, that, that, thing, that thing's got to have a weird hitbox. Uh, all right, so you... Can I reach you from here? Hey, on you go. And you, on you go, in you go. Uh, you just go there for now, you can go there. Of course it's immediately stopped being windy. Um, right, the suggestion was I put that on there, that makes sense to me. So we'll swap them around. And then is that going to go onto one of these spaces? I think I've got some organic, yeah, help out a bit there. Yes! Marvellous. Okay, so, wrong button. So, let's put some more laterite there and there. And... Oh, no, oh yeah, I can't take the one off the back, that's right. And there, and what's that? Power extenders. Didn't I have some other power extenders somewhere? They can go there. Don't need them yet. Uh, so I've got one spare laterite on me. For the other hole. So let's go and see what's in that. I don't remember where the other hole is, but we tethered most of the way to it. So I'm going to assume it's in the other direction of the tethers. Uh, this one, maybe? It goes down. Yeah, this is that horrible bridge. Let's tidy the bridge up while I'm here. If I can. How the hell did I get out of this the first time? There we go. Yeah, because now we know the magic of the control button. Uh, just tilt over a little bit more. Yeah, now I can get a smooth path going down. Well, 
Lovely. And here it is. So how does this work? Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Do I put it on top? No. Where do I put this? Ah. There. Oh. Thank you for your continued assistance. And what do we get out of it? We get a research sample. 470 bytes though. Not to be sniffed at. Now, these... I'm actually not certain, but I think they can be shredded as well. So, maybe we should take them back up to the surface. Uh, yeah, that's where the sphalerite was. Okay, let's go look into some tractor technology. Can I, can I pick you up? Are you still in the ground? Can I not pick this up? Why can I not pick this up? It's not stuck in the ground, but you can see it moving. I can highlight it like I can other things I can pick up. Maybe that just exists in the world. If anyone knows, do let me know as well. Oh, is that more science? Yes it is. That's the wrong button. There we go. Is that science? Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of what science actually looks like now. Um, I've missed my bridge though. Come on, you can go faster than that. It's only a massive container. What did I just press to make my... Can't salvage the bottom part. Okay, that's annoying. Leaving stuff around in the world like that, it feels messy. Uh, where's the tether's gone? Over that way. <laughs> and have quite the pile of stuff to salvage. So, is it what builds the big things? Uh, medium printer? Is this where we find vehicles, or is it going to be the big printer? I think. Okay, well, that's what we're aiming for a recreational sphere. Um, rover, okay. Aluminium alloy and rubber. Okay, are there smaller vehicles? Okay, we've got a buggy with compounds and aluminium. We can do that. Well, we can't afford the, the science, but we can build it. Plastic. I don't know how to get plastic or rubber yet. But, yeah, it feels like, then, we can aim for the buggy with compounds and aluminium. So, compound is easy to get. In fact, if we... Well, that would just let me put materials on there. No, it has to be the right materials. Okay. Um, right, how are we doing time-wise for this? How long is that going to take? Another minute and a bit? There's a tractor and the small printer.
two of them. Two aluminium. Just finish the whole word. Okay. Um. Oh no, that's the medium printer, isn't it? Ah, buttons. Small printer was over here. Alright. Buggy has no transport slots. Okay, fair enough. That actually looks like a little tractor as well. Dinky little tractor. Oh, it comes with a seat. That's nice. It actually... Wait. Okay. Firstly, that seat faces the opposite way than I thought it would. Okay. Now, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have any power generation on this, which is why I think it's not moving. So, uh, let's pop... Because it's windy at the moment. Let's just pop that on there and see if anything happens. Okay, how quickly do those little slots go down? I don't actually see the power slots going down at all. I'm quite... Oh, it's because it's windy. <laughs> let's take that off. Now let's see how quickly the power slots go down. Uh, is that going down on both sides at the same time? Yes. Alright, not, not to be sniffed at, I guess. Uh, presumably there is a way of... Um, ...making batteries. That I can stick onto this. Right, so if I get off that... So if I plug that into the base... Wait, it's charging the base. That's not what I wanted to happen. Can you go that way? There we go. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't actually realise they were directional. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, virus has to go eat. Now I'm hungry as well. Have I got any snacks I can eat while I'm streaming? I don't know. Okay, um... I wonder if that will fit a medium storage on the front. So if I just grab... Well, you can go in there. If I grab the medium storage... Can I just plunk you on the front of the tractor? Yes, I can! Okay. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that where it was. But... I am going to... What am I going to? Why did that suddenly slow down? Oh, did, I, did the wind thing stop? I wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, I'm going to make another one. Um, and I think that was... Is that the small printer? Storage. Medium storage. And that needs two resin. So let's go get a bit more resin. Uh, was there any more resin in the deposit over here? Was there a deposit over here? I think I'm misremembering. Haven't eat. Trying to sleep. The environment's not very suitable for it now. If if you need to sleep, I will totally understand if you decide to watch my stream later instead. 
And you can, you, you, you can watch my stream twice to make up for it. <laughs> the, the VOD will be up eventually. And go eat as well. There's no point going hungry. He says, as he's getting hungrier by the minute, as people are talking about food. Oh, just a bit more. Oh, God, I think I'm like one little bit. Oh, there's more. There we go, second resin. Go get your chicken strips. Buggy runs out of power, put a small generator on it to charge. Small generator, yes, that's not a bad idea. In fact, I might even go so far as to say that it is a good idea. Um, go. Alright, what did I need for a small generator? Compound, wasn't it? Pressing all the wrong buttons again. Small generator. Uh, yeah, that looks like compound to me. Um, oh. Okay. So that can happen. Uh, it's still working. Let's, um... Let's pick you back up. Uh, compound. And small generator. So, there should be plenty of ways I can get organics, even if I do have to go underground for it. I found where I put the other extenders. They were on that. So I've got a spare hole there for something. Um, oh no, I usually watch something while falling asleep. There's just several other noises in the house. Yeah, particularly if you've got guests over, like you said, it can be difficult to to fall asleep. There's strange noises in the house and whatnot. I've got another one of those there. I already knew I had another one of those there. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Where's my car? Uh, no, that's the dead car. Where's my not dead car? Ah, oh, there, it's plugged in. Okay, so... Put that on there, and unpack it. Boom. Right, can I pick up this seat? No, I, I want to drive it the other way. Because also having that on the front is weird. Maybe I... What do you think looks better? Does it look better like that with a big flat area at the beginning or collapsed like that? Maybe that does look better. I don't know. But anyway, we want a small generator on there. And then we've got seven spaces for things, plus what I can carry. Is there anything else we should take with us? I think we should be alright. How much longer till the science is done? Uh, four... Two minutes? Why did that randomly get faster all of a sudden? What is not using power that was, or is... Ah, oh, that thing is running. Even when it's running very slowly. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what, because we have that one extra space... We'll do that. We'll just wait for a little bit of wind. There we go. So, yeah, not a huge amount of wind, but it helps. Uh, make a work light and put it on there for light. Uh, I would, but I haven't found any copper yet. And we need copper to make a light, I think. Um, beacon, 
work light, work light. Yes, copper. We haven't found any copper yet. Available on silver and calidor. I believe this is silver that we're on now. That's the wrong button. Yeah. So we need to find copper plate. What is the mineral that copper comes from? This is going to annoy me now. Copper is next to my tethers. You mean this? This is uh, these are oxygen tanks. Malachite. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, no, we we have not found malachite yet. I'm not even sure what the symbol is. Um, resources. Malachite. Star looking one. Alright. Yes, so, hematite becomes iron, I know that one. Astronium, that uh, doesn't sound real. Latvite is aluminium. The lithium is just lithium. Sphalerite became zinc, I think it was. I don't recognise the name. I don't know if that's a real mineral or not. Uh, Titanite, I think, goes to titanium in this game. Or maybe that's Wolframite, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, come on. Is the science done yet? How much longer? There we go. So now I can put you in there. Excuse me, in there. And let's go. Let's not go. Okay, uh, let's pay attention to where we're going next time. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay, put the stuff away. Get out of the hole. Right, can I just pick a tractor up? No. Huh. Whoops. Um, okay. At the end of my tethers that I ran... Which set of tethers? I've got like three sets going out. Let's see if we can dig this tractor out. You mean like the the big one going down the hole? Uh, the 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 previously nice hole. sure how to get this tractor out of here. This is quite a deep hole. I think that should work. Everyone drives into hole eventually. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it happen to other people. I just wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Right, let's go this way. Right, and what was it you said I'm looking for? Uh, Orangish spikes coming out of the ground. So, well, the only thing I can see here would be those plants. That's definitely not them. Oh, there's a science right there. Come on. 
Look at him. And... Right. So was it the hole right next to my base, this one here, or the one that was further out? Where did you see the Malachite? Sounds like something I would find underground. I don't think it's a kind of surface level material. It is a surface material. Oh. Well. Well then. All right, so that's that's resin. That's definitely not malachite. more science stuff. Let's I don't need to get a bit closer. Uh, this looks like a is that orangey spiky stuff? There's definitely something there that's not organics. That was organic. Clay. Well, I didn't need clay, but we've got it now, whatever it does. Let's pop that on there. Okay, it can also be found on mountains. Well, that looks like a mountain. There's also some sciencey stuff in this direction, so... Where's my mouse gone? There. More sciencey stuff. Back where I found the... Ah, oh, okay, that kind of area quite annoying that you have to make a small dent in the world for every resource to pick up. Um, yes, so there is um, a machine, I believe, that was released in the most recent update, which you can extract resources without doing that. So, that is a thing. Okay, now, is this anything fancy, or...? No, that's just falling down. Okay, well, that lives underground now. Okay, so it's, is that a research sample? Yes, it is. Can you fit? I think you can you fit on four of these together. Like if I put that on that side, will you go there? No, you will not. Okay, never mind. All right, let's get back in the tractor. We will head homewards, ideally avoiding holes. And we'll head back to where we found that... Oh, okay, it is on the mountain behind me. Well, I found the wind turbine, wind turbine in the other direction, so... <laughs> Which one is it? Mountain or turbine? Also, I'm going to need more organics on this. 
Here we go. Okay, I was standing in front of it, apparently. So I was standing here. Oh! I'm presuming this is the stuff. I'm having a bit of trouble getting through the rock, but... That is what I'm after. Malachite! Yay! And I've just got too much other crap on me at the moment. Uh, okay, Malachite. We'll pick up some more while we're here, if there is any more. Mac virus. Okay, and oh no, there is still more. I don't know what else I need copper for, in fairness, but okay, that I believe is more than I can carry in any case, so. Is there any more that I dropped? I think that's everything. And well, I'll tell you what, let's put the organics on there and then put the malachite on me. Oop, that's backwards. This way. I'm I'm sure things I'm sure lots of things do use copper, but I I haven't looked all the way through the tech tree yet, so I do not know. And homeward band we go. Oh, more science. Very solid bush. Okay, and we'll plug that in the right way round so we don't um, use up those organics. Right, uh, now which one was the smelter? I think it's this one over here. So if I pop that down there. Yeah, that should start smelting the malachite immediately for me. What does clay do? Um, that's some organic. I don't want that. That's quite oh. Can organics be smelted? I guess we'll find out. In any case, yoink, um, and work close. Okay, that was a bit bigger than I was expecting. Um, Oh, it kind of just makes its own platform if you put it down. Fair enough. So can I stick that right there? Hopefully that helps manage adjustment to food situation. You're fully up and energized. Excellent. 
well, I presume that's excellent. I have no idea what time it is where you are. So, it could be awful. Like, it's three in the morning here, so... Um, being that energetic is probably not a good idea for a usual person. He says, opening a can of energy drink. Um, <laughs> Alright, so what what is that going into? So, organics clearly smelt into something. I guess we're about to find out what. And it is carbon. That makes sense. Can generators run on carbon? What if I were to put that... It doesn't seem to want to stick to the generator. Carbon sounds like it should be a fuel source though. Yeah, that definitely doesn't want to stick there. And ceramic. Cool. So I don't know what we're going to do with any of that stuff, but we've got it now. I'm completely nocturnal sleep during the day. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much me as well. I... Um, my general sleeping pattern is from about 5 or 6 in the morning through to about you know, midday to 2ish, depending how tired I am. Um, carbon works with medium generators. Or as Neon Blowfish calls them, meteorinators. <laughs> um, okay, so presumably that's a base thing then, not something I can have on me. Or maybe I could stick it on the tractor. Um, what else? Let's see, what do we need to make a... Whoa! A shredder is the word I was looking for there. Um, so, if I was a shredder, where would I be? Oh! battery. I need lithium for that. Well, zinc is the sphalerite. We know where to get that from. So, we're keeping an eye out for lithium. Um, plastic related stuff, I guess. So, plastic, rubber, oil kind of stuff. Medium generators fit on power platforms to pay up power the base. Yep, that's pretty much what I thought. Uh, shredder. To iron, okay. Iron needs hematite or hematite. Um, soil centrifuge. I believe that turns soil into stuff. We can afford it. Let's let's see what it does. So aluminium and compound. So aluminium. I had over here, and I've got too much compound. Let's just swap that for that for a second. Um, and where was it made? In the medium printer, so this one here. Let's see what you do. Can I move? Am I stuck in this thing? No, okay, and I've unplugged that. Lithium can only be pl found on other planets. Fair enough, so... Batteries don't exist on this planet. Um, just pop that up there for now. Running on low power, let's grab some more plants. So if we put, oop, ah, that's the button I wanted. Oh, did you, did you not want to go on there? 
That should let everything run at full power. Okay. And how do you do stuff? Separates resources from soil. Okay, so if I'm reading that right, if I put in eight soil, I can get a compound or a resin or an organic. Six to get a clay, four to get a quartz, two to get a graphite, one to get an ammonium? That sounds like it's the wrong way round. So maybe that means if I put in like one soil, I can get one resin. Like how, how many? Yeah, that's got eight containers. So maybe they all need to be full to get the... Well, let's try it. I've got a soil canister. But where, where do I put this? Okay, so that half fills it. Oh no, so yeah, one one of those canisters so two of those canisters will get me a an ammonium by the looks of it. Okay. So yeah, I can just trade that for stuff. I don't know what stuff I need yet, so I'm just going to pinch that back. Well, actually, it's beside the point because it's empty now, but it has soil. Uh, now that looks as though it needs to be put on a platform. Like if I just do that. Yeah, I don't do anything. And I can't plug power directly into it. No. Okay, so... Um, will that fit on that platform? That looks like I need like an even bigger... Let's have a look at this one. What can you do? Only shelters. What can I unlock for you? Like, big, big platforms. Okay, so extra large platform A, B. Okay, so they need 2,000 bytes. So more research required before I can actually use that. Maybe. Never mind, that fits there. <laughs> okay, a uh, large printer I don't actually need. Hang on, I have an idea. Um, Alright, I'm going to do that. Oh, I need a thousand bytes for that. So... Okay, so well, I was thinking if I get the package in, like, can I package that large printer up? Because I don't need it yet. Um... But I need to find more science. Any science over here I can just pinch. There's a little bit. Does anyone actually know what the shredder gives me. I know it gives me stuff when I shred things, but I don't know what. Meanwhile, we'll take this home and see if we can package up that large printer that I don't need yet. I 
really wish it was faster to move these things around. Oh, there's science right here by the base. Shredder gives scrap, which is used on the trade platform. Which sounds like another thing I have to build. That's a Stargate, if ever I've seen one. Um, okay, where is the trading platform made? Iron Tungsten Compound. Well, that's not happening for a while. How much are you going to give me? So you're going to give me enough. Uh, where was it? It was the packager that I wanted. This one here. Just need to wait a little bit. 23 bytes per minute. Quality entertainment right here. <laughs> yeah, now, now, now you mentioned trading for scrap, I do vaguely recall seeing that. Oh, there's more science over there as well. I don't know what these things are. Just science balls. have a bit of a wander. Uh, that one was clay, this resource, I think it was. So there's another hole there. And that is... Oh, that's not... Is that... What was that? Hang on, let me go find some air. Oh, actually, I've got plenty of air. What was that stuff? Was that lithium? It, that looked like the symbol. So, so there wasn't any. Maybe it's just rare. Oh. Ju juvenile humor is the best kind of humor. So. <laughs> uh, I think that would have been all of it, that deposit. Ooh, that looks fun. I had a feeling that was gonna go spiky on me. Bounce vine. Oh, pick them up. Anything fun up here? Another small turbine. Everything else is just debris. Is that? No, oh, that's organic. Anything fun on you? I think that's just debris as well. There's a science up there. Yeah, I'm reasonably sure that was lithium I had. I just didn't get enough for a single for, for a whole block of it. Alright, let's go get, find some air. Boop, 
Alright, what did I actually pick up there? Um, look, soil should go there. You can, I don't know, you can go on the base somewhere, I think. Alright, just as an experiment, I'm going to go over here. Uh, uh, close by, but out of the way of my base, and I'm going to plant that. Let's see what happens. As for the other seed we picked up, I'll just pop that over there with the other seeds. Okay, packager. And then over here, there's that graphite we swapped out. So in here, make a packager. Wait. Oh no, it was graphite, not lithium in the mountains. Fair enough. Um, okay, and if we take that packager, how does this work? If I presses items into packages, so if I hold it on top of that, no, okay, okay, that seems to work. Fair enough. Um, let's see if I see if I do that again. Spinny, 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 and we've got no power. Never. A bit of wind or something. Did I already other, did I already put that other turbine down somewhere? That's that's the light. Okay, I want to see what happens if. So I'll grab that, make me another packager. I want to see what happens if you package a package. Uh, maybe you can't. So it, it kind of sticks to it. You can see it gives me the option to select it. You can see it has the highlight there. But I I can't pack the packaged large printer. Can I package something like that? Yeah. Can I package that? Yes. Now do I get the I don't think I get the package back. Yeah, okay, so they're single-use items as well. All right, so we'll just leave that over there for now. <sighs> Food is done. Yeah, so I've been going for over two hours now. Uh, I think I'm going to take a short break. Um, just make a cup of tea or something, get myself a sandwich because everyone's talking about food. Uh, we will be right back I guess uh, now where's the button there it is
And we're back. Got myself a cup of tea. Got myself some ham sandwiches. So apologies if I start sounding like this. Um, right. So, yeah. What what shall we do next? Let's point over there. Apparently. Um, right. So we were going to take the tractor down the big hole. Let's uh, let's start setting up for that. I think. Um, okay. So what's on the tractor at the moment? Just one of them. We don't need that there. Um, just put that there for now. Do I have a spare medium storage somewhere? No. And what does a medium storage take? It's two resin from memory. Yeah. Do I have two resin on me? No, I do not. Oh, this thing has grown. Like, what does it actually do? If I get close, what actually happens? Now, did that hurt? Yes, yes, that hurt. Okay. Well, if I... Okay, that just burst into nothingness. What is the point of planting things, then? <laughs> so... It wouldn't be the first time I have been compared to... General Kenobi with my accent, actually. Um, in fact, there was a time that people used to say I looked like Daniel Radcliffe. Um, now I'm not entirely sure that that's even a compliment, but there you go. Uh, where am I going? Over here. Uh, put that away. One for you, one for you, and go. Make myself another one of those. It looks less red on my screen. Okay, so pick up that, pop that on the front of that and unpack it. And uh, we'll pop you on there. Uh, we'll pinch a s we'll pinch that small generator. Take that with us. There'll be organics down there that we can get, I think. Are there organics underneath? We'll take one organic with us, just in case. And there's some science there we can grab. Um, and the light. We were going to put the light on it as well. You can go down there. Um, that on. Why is that being used? Oh, because the light's on it. Like, if I take the light off, nothing is using power on it, right? It's being charged from the base. Why is that using power? Fine. 
Um, we'll take the tethers with us. We don't need the compound with us, I don't think. Oh, that's screw it. Let's just go. And which way was the hole? I think it was that way. Oh. Yes, the Harry Potter guy. Do I have a trailer for the tractor? No, I don't. Where does one research a trailer? I feel like it might be a medium thing. There's rover stuff. Tractor, trailer, compound in aluminium. Do we have any aluminium left? We do. Uh, oh, I can't research it yet, though. So, no, we don't have a trailer. There's, there's your answer. Oh, we'll put the aluminium back for now. And I'll leave the compound there so we know we've got it. Okay. Yeah, that organics has nearly gone already. Okay, to the hole. Okay, so I'm going to grab a bit more organics, I think, actually. One, one. You can have that and that. Okay, and let's smooth out this decline a little bit. So, like there. No, I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Don't I have... I left my soil canister behind. All right, you wait there. Actually, can I just make a soil canister? What do you need? Resin. I have a soil canister now. <laughs> That away. There we go. That looks like the signs. Uh, oh yes, and smoothing this out. That's what I was actually trying to do there. Okay, equip and smooth. I've got no soil in the soil canister. That's enough to be starting with. Now can I do it? Yes. Okay, so this is going to mess around with my tethers, but... Okay, let's fix these up as we go. Put them on the side. like that. That's not the button I wanted. That one. Oh yeah, I, f I forget you can turn off the generator, can't you? That's right. Totally forgot you can turn things off. Slow down just a bit. No, 
That's not the level I was going for. That's the level. There we go. So yeah, just get ourselves a nice <laughs> yeah, get ourselves a nice smooth ramp. Okay, and we should probably I I don't think there's anything bad about it, but I feel as though we should pick up the tethers and have them not sunken into the ground like that. There we go. Right, this wants it to be a bit wider as well, I feel. Excellent. Okay, so that is going to be our zinc mine, basically. Um, you know what? I'm thinking, let's just keep going, right? There's no reason we shouldn't. We'll find another cave eventually. Let's, let's, let's go bring the tractor down this far, at least. In you go. Uh, let's hope this works. This thing is really difficult to steer. some resin apparently. Alright, and what have we got down here? Compound, a bit more science. Anything fun over that side? That is laterite, I think it was, the uh, the aluminium stuff. See if we can sort of go down to this level. I don't know what those puffs are. Yeah, there's like those puff sound effects. Okay, let's see if we can sort of smooth out to that ground level. Can't see what I'm doing. It is rather dark down here. A nice big area so I can turn the tractor around. Oops. There we go. So we'll bring some tethers down this far and go and fetch the tractor again. Apparently this is a very windy cave down here. Very windy cave. Alright, 
So you can have one there, one there, one there, one there, and one at the base of the ramp. Bring the tractor down so we've got some light. See what we're doing. When building ramps, you have to take the planet curving into consideration, or you will end up at some point. True. That said, I, I feel as though this is still very downwards. We, we haven't quite leveled out yet. So, once, once things stop falling downhill, then we'll know that we're sort of at the minimum point of the, um, what's the word? Like the, the line that intersects with the sphere of the planet. It's not an arc. It's like a tangent that goes through the middle. I like bloody plants. They really are quite violent. Did they give me any science? A little bit. And another seed. Anything back around here? Just the compound that we found. What? is over this way. I think this is where the um, the laterite was in this direction, I think it was. More science. More science. Uh, oh, that's just organics. Oh, too far for the tether. Way too far for the tether. More explody plants. Uh, let's not bother going down there, actually. Let's go a bit further along this way. Oh, more science. Where's our tether? There we go. Oh, and we got another thing over there. What's that? Is that a square I can see on that? What is the square resource? Maybe we need to get a bit closer, because I did not see a square there. Oh no, that's not right, that's quartz. Oh, okay, let's not fall down the hole. This is remarkably dark. has a bit of a bridge, that can't hurt. this behind again. Wait, where did that tether go? Oh, whatever. Okay. Ah, power! Not just a square. How the hell do I get power down here? How much power does it need? Oh, 
Are you a science? Yes. Okay. Well, let's bring you back this way. And I'm going to see if I can pinch the small generator off the tractor. I'm really a little bit further away from the tractor than I thought I was. that's there we know that we've got that research item sort of ready to go let's pinch that Just put it on the backpack so I can run a bit faster oh hole there we go okay and Where's the hole? Is there a hole on this one? No, but I could, there was a cable plug. Somewhere. Let's just give it a flat area to stand on so I can see what we're doing. as much as I can see anything in this dark. Okay. Uh, put that down. Now, where was the cable plug? There. Alright, pick that up, put it down over here. Whoa! Camera! What are you doing? Alright. Plug that into... No, plug that into there. Turn it on. Okay. That seems reasonable. Uh, video is very choppy. Am I dropping frames? Uh, according to OBS, it says 0% dropped frames. So... I don't think I'm dropping frames. I mean, I, I have no way of knowing that for certain, but... Is anyone else having issues? Right, let's go and take this back. Everything I can see at my end indicates that the stream should be going all right. Zero percent dropped frames. Um, actually, there was a little message that just popped up. Bear with me one second. Um, Okay, I've turned down the bit rate a little bit um, because I got a message that say that said that the encoding wasn't fast enough or something. Uh, let me know if that makes any difference. In terms of internet, uh, YouTube is saying I have an excellent connection to the screen, so I do. I have no idea what YouTube considers excellent. Otherwise, let's see if we can keep going down, I guess. Let's find a nice... Can I go down a bit steeper than that? Yeah.
better now. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I dropped the bitrate from uh, 6k to 5k. So they both should be perfectly fine for like non-precision work, <laughs> I guess. Oh, no, I'm getting a message again. Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding. I don't actually know what that means. Let, let me know if you keep having problems. Maybe it was just a, an intermittent thing. message still keeps popping up. Let me see if I can play with the settings a little bit more. Um, am I using the CPU for encoding? I have not the faintest idea. I am just going with default settings, I think. Okay, looking under the settings, it says I'm using an encoder called X264. I don't know what that is. Um, CPU is at fifty percent, give or take, so it's not maxed out by any means. Watchable, or is it just a bit jittery? Let's have a look. And it does. According to the settings, I can't actually change the encoder during the stream anyway. Um, Alright. So, OBS is actually recording this as well as just streaming. Now, I do have a button that says stop recording, and as near as I can tell, that can only help. Oh, oxygen. Bear with me. Um... Yeah, if I stop recording and only do the stream, that might help. But I have no idea if clicking the stop recording button will also stop the stream. I'm going to try it. So, if this stops the stream, I will be right back. I will reconnect or do something. Um, stop recording. Okay. Am I still live? And more importantly, is it any better? Let's bring some tethers down. seem any better? Yeah, 
Um, I'm having a look at the stream. It does seem a little jumpy. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what else to try. Um... Okay. I've just changed the setting. This will either make it worse or better, but I don't know. I changed the speed from high to medium. So, but I'm not sure what the speed is. Um, FPS. It says 60. about the same. At least it doesn't mind. I only have like a tiny preview window on my second screen. Um, turn it down to 30. Can I do that without restarting the stream? That is the question. No. <laughs> um. Huh. Okay, well, let's let's have a think. I mean, what? I mean, you're, you're you're the guys actually watching this. What what do you think? Is is the stream unwatchable? Like, should should I stop and you know come back to this another time, or would you rather I continue? Totally turned around, it's too dark. Less a cave, more a ravine. I think we're starting to bottom out with this. Um, a bit hard to see what's going on, only just rejoined. Personally, don't mind it, it's fun, just a bit jumpy. Okay, well, I, I will keep going. I'll try and keep an eye on like the stream health and things. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get any worse at the very least. If it does, I mean, we've, we've already been going for three hours, so it's not the end of the world. And I am still intending to, yeah, I am still intending to upgrade my computer in the near to medium future, I will say. So, well, I say upgrade, it's... Because everything needs upgrading, I'll basically just be buying a new computer. Like, I've even considered like, buying like everything new, like 
my keyboard, for example. Um, it's great for solo gaming, but it's a little bit click clacky. Um, so for streaming and recording, it can be a bit much. Um, I'm actually out of tethers, so let's um, go see if we can find some compound, I guess. Do not buy this game before you've upgraded your PC. The, the game is running fine. Um, I am not seeing any lag at all actually playing the game. Um, it is just the stream that's having issues at the moment. So, I don't know if that has any impact on your choices, but... Uh, actually, no, there was some compound just around here, wasn't there? Ah, yes, well remembered Finny. Was there any more compound, or was that it? Ah, there it is. Wrong button. Tether, 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 tether. button again. More tethers. One button. In. And we'll continue going down. Oh, okay. Let's make this area a bit bigger. In. Once you've done your stream, do a test with 30 FPS. Wait. Parkour. Or carcour, I guess. This thing is really hard to steer. Alright. Tethers. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, because this ravine sort of goes that way. Oh, there's debris down there. And enough resin to feed an army. In fact, that one is actually not hyperbole, because armies don't eat resin. So it is enough. It is as much resin as an army would ever want to eat. PC is even older than yours, way beyond numbers and letters. You can play Factorio. Yeah, Factorio is ridiculously optimised. So, I mean, you could probably run Factorio on a toaster if you tried. In fact, that would be an interesting test. I've got a Raspberry Pi uh, packed away somewhere. Let's see if I can get Factorio running on that. Um, yes. And if you're not a computer person, by the way, that sentence did actually make sense. You can... Well, you might be able to run Factorio on a Raspberry Pi. It is a type of small computer. Alright, so we'll just make a little bridge down here. That looks like it might be a shredder. Oh, it's just debris. Uh, oh, I've got another work light there. I can see! Uh, I don't think anything else is there. No. Okay. Um, yeah, so resin for days. Bit of science. I should bring some tethers down here so I don't suffocate. What's that? That's more debris.
Oh, and we got another thing that also needs power, so... Um... Oh, have I still, I've still got the generator on me. Uh, let's go and see what we get from that. There really is mountains of resin around here. Oops, that's too far away. You say, I mean, you wouldn't be able to run an amazing uh, Factorio base on a Pi, but I, I reckon it's optimised enough that you could at least have an enjoyable game. Alright, where's the plug there? Oh, oh. That would help. That is doing nothing. Maintain desired power to unlock. Okay, this one's different. It needs an amount of power. And one of them is clearly not enough to cut it. So looking at that little red bar down there, that gets us maybe a third, more likely a quarter of the way there. So we would need four of these things. So we might have to come back for that one. Um, not much more I can do about that. Unless... Actually, I have an idea. Maybe. So if I flatten out this area... Maybe I can plug the truck into it. That's that's my hypothesis. We'll see if that proves true. So I just need to give myself a little bit of a a ramp that I can actually drive up. Oh, I'm out of soil. Okay. Well, let's go and grab the truck. Tractor, rather. There it is. In we get. In we get. In we get. Oh, I didn't leave myself much. Way. Well, if it's stupid and it works. Why is the handling on this thing so terrible? I really feel as though the big wheels should be at the back. Okay, so, I'll bring that along here. Right. Turn around just a little bit. Alright, hop out. Alright, now if I plug that into there. No, that's just using up all my power. How much does the turbine give it now that we've actually got a little bit of power down here? Barely anything. Hmm. Anyone got ideas for the power? Like how we can supply that thing with enough power constantly anything I've missed or we're just gonna have to come back later with better items I feel like there should be a a tether somewhere around here
Let's go see down what's this way. Well, put those words in the right order and you'll know what I mean. Okay, this one wants um, a material of some kind. Oh, and we got a new kind of plant. What material is that? That is... Laterite? Yeah, that's laterite again. Have we picked up any laterite? No. Let's bring the tethers this way. Um. Okay, and what do we got round here? Whoop. Um. Don't do that. I consider that very rude. Right, what do we got here? That is. Now, if I were a betting man, I would say that's dynamite. Well, well, well. Oh, except my backpack is full. Um, Alright, you live down there. We've got some more tethers. And that's that done. What are you? Are you a science? Yes, you're a science. Okay. Have we got anything I don't... Okay, well, if I just... Put that down. That was our last tether, so we can now pick that up. What else have we got in the backpack? Um, little trick. We'll pretend we're about to make some oxygen filters, and that gives us one more space. If I press the right button, I'll be able to put my backpack away. Do I find the graphics too cartoonish or does it work for the game um, I find it works but then a disclaimer I guess I am not a graphics person there's a there's a there's a word like a graphics file is that oh that's my truck how did that get over there but I drove it there that's how it got over there yeah, I don't really mind about graphics. Um, I mean, like, for the longest time, even, like, my screen could only do, like, maybe 720p, which is why if you um, look at a lot of my older videos, it might say they're 1080p, but they're actually not quite. So... Anyway, uh, now, there's no way I can sort of carry that with me, is there? No. Actually, I've got some space on here, don't I? Let's, um... Right, let's put the dynamite there. I don't know what dynamite... Okay, well, I know what dynamite does, but in the context of the game, I don't know what dynamite does. Um... Well, that's another thing we can do. If I... Pop that there. Turn it on for a bit. This is a complete waste, but... Turn it off. There we go. That's pinched the other organics. That gives us one more space. And put the resin in there. Oh, I've got another resin on me. I've got another, another resin on me. Um, Alright, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five six, seven spaces for stuff. Let's 
go and see if we can find any interesting stuff to put in those seven spaces. Uh, where did my tethers go? This way. It's more the style of it. it looks a bit childish, kind of like Roblox, but it doesn't ruin, ruin the depth of the game. It's probably fine. Yes, that is a dynamite on my car. I found a dynamite in this backpack down here. That looks like some mineral over there. Should we head in that direction? A little bit more science. Yes, I don't know what to do with a dynamite yet. Well, presumably blow it up. But I do not yet know the purpose of doing such a thing. Oh, a bit too far away. Is that another science I see? Yes it is. And come on. I'm too far away for that. And there was one on the other side. Lots of stuff. Ooh. That was just a random hiccup. Yeah, lots of science around here. How much have we got? 2400, not bad. <laughs> well, I'm sure some of them like to play video games as well. It goes boom, yes. Oh, um, that button. Okay. So, I'm going to take this to the bottom of the ramp. And then this one that needed laterite. I can't be certain, but I think that... That resource over there might be laterite. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's bring some more tethers this way. I really should not go anywhere without tethers down here because it is going to be so easy to get lost. Okay, well, whoa! Okay, I guess we're down here now. Uh, let's see, Debris. Debris. But, okay, I think that's just growing straight through there. That's alright. That was easy. Is there anything on here that isn't just debris? That is a packager. I'll have that. In case I want to package something. And actually we're out of aluminium at the base, aren't we? So let's just take a bunch more of this stuff. That should be plenty. By the way, if you need information on your own stream, upstream, opening the live stream and pulling up stats from nerds gives you a good amount of info about how YouTube sees your video. Um. I'm sure every single one of these numbers means something. I'm 
unfortunately some of the numbers are actually covered by a, th a thing that says live because I have this on as I mentioned earlier it's on like this tiny little section of my secondary screen um, was there anything else I needed? How full's my backpack? I've got two spaces there. Okay, I've got two more spaces. Should I just get two more laterite and head back up? That, that seems reasonable, actually. There we go. That's, yeah, that's me full. Alright, let's head back upstairs, see what we can get with any of the research that we've managed to... Well, research points that we've managed to get. Oh, in fact we can use one of those laterites here. If you press the right button. Boom. Well, I didn't like that very much. Uh, what's in there? Just another research sample. 442. Yeah, nothing else. I'll leave that embedded in the ground. I think if something is embedded in the ground, it makes a little less lag in the long run. But And this way. If you look at live latency, it says optimized for normal latency, so there is about a 30 second delay. Change it to low latency. Uh, well, I do see an option here that says, well, it gives me three options normal, low, or ultra low latency. Every single one of them is grayed out. I do not know if that is because I can't change it while I'm streaming. Next stream, I will consider a low latency. We'll see if that makes any difference or any reasonable difference uh, so these want to go this way um okay do i walk or do i take the tractor back i'll take the tractor back because it's got the dynamite on it and up we go Yes, because, yeah, I can't change it at the moment because I'm live. Oh, there's a science there I missed. Yeah, I... I don't know if there's like any major mechanical difference why you might want a lower latency. Like, obviously, it means I can I can talk to you all a little bit more real time. Like, like does it do some kind of buffering or um, like processing behind the scenes during that 20, 30 seconds, however long it is? I do not know. Uh, bump, bump, bump. I should probably drive a little more careful if I've got dynamite sticking out the front. But where's the fun in that? Okay, we'll leave that charging up. We'll go and smelt this laterite. I've totally got turned around on my base. Wait, where's the smelter? Ah, right here. Um...
Alright, have that, have that, have that, and that, and that. Um, I'll just put the package there for now. Oh, no, I won't. Well, yes, I will. Zinc. That's what that is. Let's have a look at some science. Well, we've got 3,000 bytes to work with. And... Okay, well that's unlocked. Okay, portable oxygenator. Nanocarbon alloy, that sounds expensive. A small... Oh, that's what I've already got. Glow sticks. So what's the difference between... Oh no. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So the work light is attached to me. They're nice and cheap though. Floodlight. Nice. Power cells. They just need zinc. And we've got loads of zinc just downstairs. But these are the ones that can't be recharged, if I remember right. Or at least that's what um, someone saying. Uh, solar panel, wind turbine, small battery, but I need the lithium to make that, and there's no lithium on this planet. I'm not sure what those do. I think they're like... I think the modifications like change how the terrain tool works. Or maybe that's the drill mods, I'm not sure. Okay, well I've already got one of them, but still don't know what to do with it. Fireworks. And a camera. I didn't even know there was a camera in this game. Probe scanner, for scanning probes. And jump jets, okay. What about these ones? Okay, so we can research and then build new oxygenators. So I could build like a little base in the cave then. It doesn't need to be attached to this one. Shredder would be nice, but I don't even know if there is iron on this planet. Doesn't appear to be. Novus has the iron on it. Well, that doesn't look like a fun place. Uh, what else? Field shelter. Okay, so yeah, the, the auto arm is the one that gives us the, well, the automation part. So you can like, have, have that move things around the base for us. Not quite sure how the sensor stuff works yet, but I'm sure we'll look at it one day. Oh, there's nothing else there. Extenders, I picked up a couple of those. Splitters, I don't know what a splitter does. But... No. Medium generator, you said that's the one that does the, um, the carbon, right? The tungsten, how do I get tungsten? Copper and glass, that could help with the base power. Can't afford the research yet though. 
glass and ceramic I can do as well. We've got the quartz downstairs and we've got the ceramic, um, well, we've got clay that we've seen around. I know what that looks like at least. Um, and it seems like a reasonably windy place. Not the button I wanted to press though. Um, batteries again, we need lithium. RTGs, yeah, we're not there yet. Um, okay, I know what Factorio splitters do. Maybe it does do the same thing, or maybe it splits power in two directions. I, I don't know. I don't know what splitters do in the context of Astronia. Uh, so platforms. I don't think the platforms have any... Uh, medium storage silo. I wonder if that could be stuck on the back of the tractor. Or the front, I guess. I suspect it's a bit too big. But if it could be, that would be nice. Because it looks like there's... Um, well, we can see half of that cylinder. And we can see 3 by 4 as 12. So there'd be 24 slots on that. But it needs titanium anyway. Um, what else have we got? The trailer. That's right. Compound and aluminium. I'll have that. Um, and then horns. A winch would be nice. I believe the winch allows us to drag bits of um, debris around behind the tractor. But again, tungsten, rubber, no idea where they are. Paver. Uh, stuff I don't know how to get. And thrusters, aluminium and ammonium. Could do, but I've got nothing to put a thruster on at the moment. So, now at some point we will be building a rocket and visiting the other planets in the solar system. But not yet. Okay, what else have we got here? Chemistry lab. That might be how we make the alloy, but then, you know, tungsten again. Atmospheric condenser, that's how we make gases. Research chamber. Oh, I've already got that. What was that one? Exo request platform. What does that do? Uh, is that. That's not what this thing over here is, is it? No, it just says it's a landing pad. So if I go to my medium printer... It was a medium one, wasn't it? Yeah. There. What does that look like? like that apparently. Let's grab another resin and a ceramic and see what that does. So, uh, where did I put the ceramic? Uh, around here somewhere I think. There. And a resin. I don't suppose I've got a resin. Oh, I do have a resin. Okay, we'll get that going. And then, just before I left, I left that compound there for something. What did I leave that compound there for? It was compound plus something equals something. And I don't remember what. Oh, or was that the trailer? That might have been the trailer. If 
I come over to the small guy, do you make trailers? Aluminium and compound, that was it. So, is that aluminium? Yep, aluminium and compound. Build me a trailer. Lovely. So, yeah, now we're just waiting for those to do. I'll eat one of my sandwiches. Where's the tractor? Over there. I don't suppose the trailer inherently holds any extra power, does it? Would be nice, but I somehow doubt it. That gives us an extra... ...that-sized space. Alright. What do you do? I do like the sound, yes. It's almost as good as the sound that Satisfactory makes when you go through a hypertube. That one really is a foom. Um. Does anyone know what I just did? Payload value. What is that symbol? Is that compound? That looks like the compound symbol. So, let's see, what, what is it? It's a hexagon with six dots on the straight bits and a dot in the middle. It made sense to me. A hexagon with six dots on the straight bits and a dot in the middle. Okay, let me grab a compound, see what happens if I stick that on there. If I can find a compound. in a hole. Okay. Put that away. 
go to that thing. What happens if I put a compound there? One out of a hundred. Okay. Alright. No, I th judging by what it says here, it looks as though this might just be cosmetic stuff we can earn. And it says it needed a medium resource canister. Two thousand bytes, and I need to get plastic somehow. So that's not happening just yet. You can stay there. In fact, can I package him with a rocket on it? Oh, it even gave me the compound back. Where's my other package over there? Oh cool, on the side of the boxes it shows you what's in it. There's there's the rocket thing and there's that was a large printer I think it was, yeah. Um Tractor, I was emptying the tractor. That's what actually happened. So Did I finish looking through these? Large platforms, large rover. Shuttles. Hold on, a shuttle is only two aluminium. Alright. Give me my large printer. Uh, not using you. You can live on there. You need to turn around. Well, you don't need to, but you're going to. Grab two aluminium. One. Two. I can't help but feel that if, you know, one unit of resources can make a tether bundle, or a lamp basically, then it should take more than two units of resources to build a rocket. because you're going to play this game and spoilers are a no-no. Okay, I will... Yeah, so the, the, the game has been a little bit spoiled for me. I, guess I, was, I was watching Let's Plays and such, but... I will try to keep story details to myself, at the very least. It's taking its time there. Are you fully powered? Not even slightly. Getting quite tall. Only a bit more powered now. The science scrub the science scrub back, or have I just been missing stuff that's really close to my base? 
I swear I've picked those ones up before. Is there a story too? Um, actually, I don't know much about story, but there is a... Um, thing to find out I think is the best way of putting it without spoiling anything I don't I don't know what the final thing to find out is but I know that there is a thing um, need thruster I guess that makes sense um, how does one make a thruster? Solid fuel thruster. Aluminium ammonium. Well, we've got aluminium. Where might one find ammonium? Do you think? So I would expect ammonium to be more of a surface compound, I think. So we pick a direction and go. Let's go this way. I haven't been this way yet. There's some mountains. Uh, plenty of resin. Let's go up the mountain. Even if there's nothing useful up here, it should be able to give us a, a vantage point. The solar panel, I'll take it. I think the rest of that is just debris, yep. Yeah. I don't know what that sound is. Um. Organic, organic, organics, more organics. I am keeping an eye on oxygen, by the way. Well, ammonium, I'm thinking, might be this game's version of ammonia, which is a nitrogen compound. and is therefore more likely formed by living things. There's a, a big thing over there. So yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's a surface compound. A couple of quartz, I'll take them. Is there more stuff in the middle? Is that, that graphite? Yes. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Any more in here? Uh, they look like they're spaced evenly in thirds. So is there more down there? Yes, there is. Um, all right, I guess we're carrying this one. I guess we're leaving that one. Okay, I, I, I was keeping an eye on oxygen. We may have an issue here. I'll just hold your breath. I'm 
not going to make it. To this. To, oh. <laughs> Oh well. Luckily it wasn't too far away. Is, does, does it give me a beacon or something? Yep, yeah, there. Next to another science push. everything. Sure. Um, let's just slightly move things around. There we go. So, not quite as productive as I wanted. Interesting though. Let's pick another direction and put some tethers on the way this time. Oh. me out of tethers. Okay. Uh, oh, we got another one of them. Power cell. And some more stuff over here as well. So, malachite and clay. I didn't empty my backpack. I've got a research item there. Alright, let's take this back and stick it in the, stick it in the thing. It's in that direction, apparently. Another roll. Oh, you've just got the game now, have you, Sherlock? right on the other side of my base because that's how these things work. There. And that'll give 740 bytes and a bit. Uh, ah, yes, empty. We were going to empty stuff. Or empty me. Uh, quartz. I don't know if quartz is used for anything else, but I'm just going to smelt it straight into glass. Well, or I'll just throw it on the floor, you know. Whatever seems reasonable. Uh, graphite. Does graphite smelt? Nope. Um, right, we've got some compound there, some resin. Resin will put over there somewhere. Uh, malachite can be smelted into copper or thrown on the floor. You know, that seems to be the rage these days. Solar power will add to the base. Um, I'll stick the light up there because it looks better. Alright, that works. 
Oh, no, we've got um, some stuff there as well. Come on. Hey. There. And... In fact, is there another resin floating about? There's that one there. Is there one on the tractor? No. I'm going to grab another... Well, I was going to grab another couple of resin for a couple more medium storage units. Uh, downloading is finished. God bless good internet. Yes. Remember the days when you'd have to wait a minute or two just to download a still image. Thankfully those days are long gone. Okay. So if I get myself a couple more medium storages, I've got one extra for the tractor, one for the left-hand side of the smelter. I must say, 200 gigabytes. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look big in terms of storage, but a 200 gig download still looks pretty big. I think. Right. So this one can go on the tractor. Where is it over there? Shine your light. There we go. And then this one is going to live on the other side of the smelter. Some really satisfying clicks. That it makes as well. Okay, then that should keep doing its thing. Um, I've got soil, two oxygen canisters, and that. Yep, we're fine. So, which direction was it we went in with the tethers? I think it was this way. It was not. No, there is actually a compass. I should probably check that. Well, the compass. Let's let's go south. I think. Well, on second thoughts, I'm going to go north actually. I have a potential reason for doing so. I haven't yet figured out if it's a good reason, but it is a reason. So this is the northward line. Oh, northward-ish. Hmm. This takes us towards the hole. There's another big crashed ship over there as well, actually. Whee! Alright, so from here, we'll go further north. Again, some stuff on the way from the science bush. And 
keep an eye out for some compound actually so we can build tethers. Yeah, there's malachite, I know what that looks like now. And what it's called. Compound. Is that it? I wonder if you if you spent long enough playing this game, could you like delete a planet? And I don't know how the game is coded, but I don't see why not, in theory. Uh, that's just volcanics up there. Ooh, this is an interesting formation. And an interesting tree. Yeah, that's how roots work. Okay. Two thirds through oxygen. I'm oh, sorry, one third through oxygen, two thirds left. Compound plus. I'm getting lost in the mountains. I would like to not be lost in the mountains. Alright, I guess we're going down here. Oh, full damage. Ow. Science. This is science rock. Much better than those science bushes you hear about. There we go. So from the compound, you make some tethers. we can take the tether line further north. That way, directly over the mountains. Okay, that was the last of my tethers again. So, keeping more of an eye out for compound. Oh. Maybe I should have gone around this mountain. that button. Tethers. More tethers. More tethers. Okay, and let's see if we can find our way back to the tether line now. There we go. That looks like it just goes straight up into the mountain. 
I guess we're exploring in here. My disappointment is immeasurable. You can't just put a cave like that in a mountain and not have something at the end of it. I've already forgotten what we needed ammonium for. Was it the rocket booster? Okay, well we'll take a bunch of that. Still want to go a bit further north. So... That was one of those jumping plants, and <laughs> ironically enough, so as chill as this game might be, every now and then something explodes at you. There, oh, we're somehow managing to go west instead of north. Welcome back, Sherlock. Well, hello. So, this looks like a totally natural formation. So, what have we got up here? We've got something very alien looking with a cable plug. Um, now, oh, I didn't actually bring the generator with me. I don't suppose that will just, no, that doesn't have a plug on it. So, yeah, we need to supply this some power. And, uh, yes, I did know this was at the North Pole, which is why I came here. So, if I do that, yeah, so north is that way, north is that way, and if I can put the camera in like the right place for this, you can see that north points directly to the middle of the triangle. So, yeah, we should be able to, in the future, follow the tether line to that thing. Uh, oh, that's, that's one of those research items. I'll leave that there for now. I thought it was a scanny one. There's the tether. I'll bring this out a little bit more because it's a bit tricky to see nestled back in the trees there. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to the base. Oh. I spy a science bush. It's a different kind of science bush. There's a lot of science on it. Okay, let's go back to base. We'll do something with that ammonium.
Whoop. Got away with that one. That broke the tether line. That was nowhere near the tether. Press the right bloody button, Mini. Okay, fixed it. We. So. I'm not sure exactly how far south we started. I don't think it was on the equator. But it gives you some idea of exactly how big the planets are. So they're not quite outer wilds small, but they're still pretty small planets. Given that I've spoken of it as well, Outer Wilds, amazing game. Unfortunately, it was spoiled for me, and it's a story-based game. So, my advice to anyone is play the game, do not look at any Let's Plays. If you don't intend to play it, by all means, there's some really good Let's Plays out there. Um, NerdCube did a good one. But yeah, if you int if you are even slightly enamoured with the idea of um, playing Outer Wilds, just go play it. Uh, anyway, Ammonia. Um, I think it was in here. No, have I actually researched it yet? Oh, five. No. No jetpacks. Because it's not that one, is it? It's this one. Um, let's move out of the way. Large platform, large platform, large printer smelting, soil, research chamber, large. Okay. I haven't researched it yet. There it is. Solid fuel thruster. 500 bytes. Ding, ding. And... Alright, we'll close that. We'll reopen it. Wait. I was right the first time. It is over here. I just haven't... <laughs> Whatever. There we go. Uh, oh, and an aluminium. Can I reach that from over here? Is there any aluminium to reach from over here? Apparently not. There's some. Right, you. You. Not a trailer. Solid fuel thruster. So, where's our rocket? The other way. So, if I just pop that down there and unpack. Wait. I can just ignite that on the ground. I got a spare aluminium. Yes, I'm going to ignite it just 
now and see what happens. Yeah, okay, that's gone. <laughs> Actually, I've got two of these spare. Alright, so let's make one of those for real this time. Okay, so this one we'll just put actually on the rocket the way it's supposed to. Like that. And this one we'll have a bit of fun with. Okay, so while it's facing down like that, we could turn it on and see how long it lasts. Actually, I do actually have another Ammonium. Or, um, as Sherlock says, we can hop on it and see what happens. If I have another Aluminium... No, that one's Zinc. Do I have another Aluminium somewhere? I think that might have been my last one. Yes, yeah, so we can hop on it, set it off, see how that... Well, see how quickly it kills us. Or... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious just to put it upside down and see how long it keeps burning for. Anything left on that? No. Yeah, I think we've already smelted all of the aluminium we had. Alright, let's... Save the game. Where'd it go? Over here. Hmm. Interesting. So it didn't do anything if I was standing on top of it. Well, I'm stuck in a hole now. Okay, so that's just salvage. That was a waste of aluminium. On the plus side, we got to do both. We saw how long it burned and um, we got to hop on it. Well, maybe I have been eating a little too much lately. All right, so let's hop in the rocket and that saves the game and I think that is a good place to leave it for this week. So next week we can continue uh, probably not to another planet but this will uh, let us you know, shuttle back and forth between different places on the same planet. Or maybe we will go to another planet. I haven't decided yet. My tea is empty.
See, as a British person, if I don't regularly drink tea, I start to kind of melt. It's very unpleasant to watch. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. What, what do you guys think about uh, continuing this sort of chill astroneer kind of thing on a Sunday? Or Monday morning for me, but... And hopefully next time the stream quality is a little better. I'll continue playing with some settings. And it's a hell of a lot better than it was when I was testing it earlier. Apparently using the Streamlabs OBS. Um, it was like last week's um, stream when I was playing Satisfactory. Just totally unwatchable, like one frame every two or three seconds. And then, yeah, this game was having the same issue. So, interestingly, absolutely fine on OBS. It's just the Streamlabs OBS, it wasn't working. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine, Descore. Or, yeah. No, that, yeah, it does say Descore. Or Descore. Descore, Descore. Yeah, that's, uh, anyway, yes, that is perfectly fine. You are allowed not to want to play a game. Um, I just like to mix it up a little bit. So, you know, if, if I do nothing but play Factoria day in, day out, I'm going to get bored of it. And that has happened in the past, like a couple of times when I've done the bigger projects, like the... Um, like some of the tutorials I've done, they take a long, long time to make. Um, or the uh, like the Rule One Ten Trains videos. That that single video was probably close to eight weeks of work. Um, with actually running the thing and designing the thing and building it. So, yeah, if I do nothing but Factorio, it starts to get a bit much. So, I've got Satisfactory, I've got other games that I dabble in. This one, it's an interesting game with some interesting premises. And given the fact that they have just released their automation update, um, it kind of fits my channel, I think. I haven't got to the automation bit yet, of course, but it exists. Video is why you subscribed. Uh, so that's. <laughs> I'm glad, as long as you didn't subscribe with the hope that you would be getting something like that every week. I've I've got some things I would like to do in Factorio, um, but yeah, for the most part, videos like that are just one off. Um, I think the closest thing I do to anything like that reg on a semi-regular basis at least is the music machine videos they are um, actually I've been meaning to do another one of them for a while actually they take a while maybe I could do one of those on a stream there's very little to watch it's basically just me transcribing music Yeah, with the train tutorial, I mean, the biggest complaint people have about it is that it's too long for the absolute basics. And in some ways, I did go into too many basics. Like, by the point of reaching trains, you know how to find out how much something costs to build. It, it's, it's there when you mouse over it. But 
I just like the style of like having all the information there. I do um Yeah, so I have been working on this um, another series called Factorio Academy, which is basically that style of tutorial but broken up. So it's not you know a ninety minute long video. So if you just want to learn how to build a a two way T junction, for example, you just watch that five to ten minute long video explaining how to do that. And then other tutorials as well, of course, so oil and the circuit networks and managing ratios, input, output, power, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, the, the train system, it, it takes a little while to get the hang of in Factorio. Like, if you watch other tutorials, they can give you the basic idea. Like if, if you just pick a random YouTube tutorial about Factorio's trains, um, you will at least get as far as being able to figure out how to get a train just going back and forth along one line. Um, more than that is, I guess, trial and error. Once you've kind of played enough, I think the tipping point is figuring out exactly what the chain signals do. Once you figured that out, the rest of it will eventually fall into place. Uh, yeah, um, on the whole, I'm I'm happy with those tutorials. I mean, th those tutorials are basically what's built my channel up as big as it's gotten so far. Um, and they are still my most watched videos, like, even today, um, most of my watch time would have come from either the train tutorial, the circuit tutorial, or I think the oil tutorial is in third place at the moment. Blueprint was off by one. So, the only thing I can think of, based on how you've described it there, is that the Factorio train, the rails... Ah, yeah, you've just said. Um, they're locked onto the 2x2 the two two grid. So, uh, there's a tip for you. If you want to build a blueprint for anything to do with the trains, make sure the rails are also part of the blueprint. Or if you really don't want them to be, just have like one rail in the corner in the blueprint, and that way the blueprint itself will also be locked to that same 2x2 two two grid. So using too many signals usually doesn't hurt. Uh, you do need to be careful after chain signals. So. If you've got, I don't know, five chain signals in a row and then your normal rail signal, you need at least one train length between that and the next signal. Otherwise, the train can still block your chain signals, block your intersections that way. Yeah, so that's the only place that you really need space between signals. Again, general rule of thumb just unless you're in a junction, just leave a train's distance between signals and, and you should be fine. The offloader, if you want the train to go left to right instead of right to left, you actually need to do the blueprint without the rails. I don't know. You, you've got me second-guessing myself, but I, I will have to give that a try. Hmm. 
But yes, anyway, it is now 20 to 6 in the morning where I am. The sun is probably about to come up, so I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, otherwise the inside is right by one of all the wagons. Hmm. The other thing you could do is if you also put the station in the blueprint, then the station should have the same distance of the inserters, right? Unless you're playing on point 0.15, maybe point 0.16. At some point they redesigned how the trains work, so vertical and horizontal stations work the same. If you have a straight rail line, you've got to stop on either side. Ah, so yeah, if you have stations opposite each other, that might not work. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, I am going to call it a night. Um, I am currently liking the idea of making the Sunday streams a regular thing at this time. So it would be the 3 p.m. GMT, although I think the UK is in summertime at the moment, so it would be 4 p.m. maybe. At the same time that this stream was on on a Sunday, uh, but yeah, I will leave it there for now. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. <laughs>